The scheme is expected to collect information on people's treatments, referrals and appointments over the last 10 years, alongside other data from medical records held on GP's systems. Sounds interesting and bothering. Let's speak with Jim Killick, Executive Director of the Open Rights Group, campaigning for digital free speech and privacy. Jim, afternoon to you. Um, What would be, as far as you can ascertain, the reason that governments would want all this data? Well, it's it's commercial gain, unfortunately. Uh, the research purposes are already met. They have a they have a scheme where they all the data that they need uh, is brought in and are anonymised and accessed by researchers. What this is is rehashing project called Care Dot Data from about well nearly ten years ago now, mm. where they they wanted to sell access to all of the patient data they possibly could to private research companies. Um, for commercial purposes now of course that uh you know could have good outcomes right you know medical research not a bad thing sure but uh they they keep doing this without asking people whether they want their data to be part of this and because data when it goes into these systems is only pseudonymized it can be re-identified so you know somebody you know my age 49 uh, this postcode with this medical problem, that's a pretty specific person. Um, so it doesn't take very much or very many of your very specific medical details uh, to to, to re identify exactly who that is. And of course, that provides then, you know, threats of what might happen in insurance, uh, you know, whether uh, it ha- other health companies might get this. And, you know, then, then you have very serious questions. You know, how are you going to stop that sort mm. of thing from happening? How are you going to persuade people that their de- details are not going to be re-identified and shared? So the idea then is solely and for no other reason that the government can sell it and make millions or billions of pounds. It's that simple. It's very largely that. Um, the, what would the, the, uh, Matt, Matt Hancock, I'm sure, would give us a different reason for it. Well, he'd say that the commercial companies are going to provide lots of cures and this is really you know great from a medical research point of view and it'll help the pharmaceutical industry and of course everything that could be true i mean there there might be some 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 that could be true i mean it's not so so that could be true the the question isn't should we have commercial researchers the question is how do you do this in a way that maintains trust and pseudonymizing uh, and then uh, handing over large amounts of information is is not the way to do it and nor is that is is saying to everybody well if you happen to have heard about this then you might read an article that might give you a link to something on the NHS site, um, which will explain for you to ha- how you might opt out. Yeah, this I is mean, the, that's just if you, outrageous. If you, if you Google NHS data opt out, I think you can follow the instructions on the NHS digital site. Is that right? You can find them that way. You can also find them through um, sites that's run by Medical Confidential. Um, yeah, I think it's dot org, medconfidential dot org. That, that's a good place to go to find this sure. information. But you know, the, the thing here is, we should be asked first, right? And we, sh- you know, it, it, we should be asked. And if we want to participate, we should do that as a matter of our own choice. We, you know, we sign up to all kinds of uh, things with with uh, GPs. There are plenty of opportunities to. Uh, you know, ask people explicitly whether they want to opt in or opt out. There's no need to do it in this underhand way. All of this is being driven by the government deciding about six months, well, six or nine months ago, you, I don't know if you listened to any of the things that uh, Dominic Cummings said he was up to last year, but one of the things he said he was really doing was driving the use of data and uh, mm. trying to get data protection laws changed. He said that's to say weakened. And this is now government policy. They have a national data strategy they're writing up. Their plan is to make all the privacy protections worse and to make government data reshared in all kinds of ways. And to, this is just part of that. It's just the, the government is looking everywhere it possibly can right now. Every time it spots some data, it wants it reused. It wants it shared. It yeah. wants it sold to the public private sector. And and this this is this is a huge change that is going on underneath the surface of course this is one of those areas where people really do realize privacy matters people don't like the Mm. idea of their medical records being shared but it's happening in all kinds of places in all kinds of bills 
Uh, there are fraud initiatives. There are policing initiatives. There are medical initiatives. It's a really, really troubling time. Yeah, go- we- governments love. Da- you're absolutely spot on, Jim. Governments love data. Either even conservative governments who talk about you know smaller states and the like. Jim, thank you. Jim Killick is the exec director of the Open Rights Group. It's in-